does offer a comment or a suggestion that, that you receive it with respect and everybody's point of view is valid. Okay, let's break up into our groups. Okay, let's settle down, folks. Please. Try, if possible, when you're finding passages from the novel that characterize your character, to get one of each of these types of characterization. Find a passage, if you can, where your character is saying something. Find a passage, if you can, where the narrator is telling you something about your character. And finally, uh, try and find a passage where other people in the story are talking about the person that you have chosen. That's the first part of your test, and that's the individual part. After everybody has completed that, you can put the five abstract nouns or concepts that you decide along as a group that your characters represent into the spaces here. And then there are three questions at the bottom of this worksheet that I would like you to discuss in a group. To aid in that purpose, everybody, each group will receive conch shell. Um, I'm not going to tell you how you should use it. Um, there are only five of you in the group. I would like to see very much that everybody is participating, everybody has ideas, they may differ. You may disagree with somebody else in your group. However, each person has the right to forward his or her opinion in safety and security. I like working in small groups because you get to know the teacher as an individual and the teacher gets to know you as an individual. And I think any child that gets to work in a small group has a really big advantage, you know, because they get to express themselves more. Okay, for this group right here, Mercedes, I'm going to hand you the conch. You got it? The person who has the conch also will hold the group questionnaire for later. Uh, these are the five worksheets. I'm not going to tell you who should get whom. Um, Noah, why don't you hold on to that? You can discuss who would like to take each character and get started. All right. All right. I don't know who I want to be. I want to be fine with her picking. What you have to do, find, find the passage that, um, that characterizes your character. What chapter was that in? Where Which they one? had uh, <coughs> Simon, and that's like his ending of the death, where he was going to um, die. Is that chapter that, that nine or no, eight? No, that's when he saw the Lord of the Flies. Yeah, when, he, when Simon saw the Lord of the Flies. That was um, the chapter like Chapter seven. Or I think that's no, just no, showing the glass. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. What chapter? That's, That's chapter 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. Page yeah. 165. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Jack slams his knife into the trunk and looks around challenging. You think that, does that um, tell you something about Jack's character? Now, you know Jack is a main character here, so he's in most of, most of the chapters of this book. Do you think that is the best passage to describe Jack's character? Uh, okay, then if you can find, you know, keep that, you know, that might be something you want to use, but look to find the part, part of the book where Jack really comes out, his character really comes to the forefront. Um, that's also on page 156, so. All right. You said that before, Piggy. That was murder. Oh, okay. Okay, as you're working in your groups, you should be just about finished your individual tasks. Having thought about it a little bit and come up with some idea about what part of the person, of the human personality you think your character symbolizes. Um, I want you as groups now to share your ideas with um, the rest of the members of your group, keeping the following in mind. Um, if you want to get your viewpoint across to somebody else in your group, you need to explain very clearly your point of view. If you have listened uh, carefully, you disagree, you can make that point. You can make some suggestions to somebody else. Um, please do so. If you, if you disagree, please do not do it in such a way as to invalidate somebody else's point of view. Uh -huh. um, wrestle it back and forth, but always a, in the context that everybody's thoughts are valid. A little bit of praise goes a long way. Um, try and come up with some kind of group consensus about what each of these five characters symbolize or represent. When I break these students down into, into smaller groups, I often find that they're, they're released from the, the setup situation of the authoritarian in front of the room who's making the rules and I have to follow them and if I don't follow them I get into trouble. Almost without, without fail, when small a small discussion starts, uh, they, 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 they forget where they are. They, they start to talk from the heart rather than, rather than saying things that they, they think they should say or that they're expected to say. 
Okay, if I can just have your attention for a second, we should now be actively engaged um, with discussing the three questions that are on that, that first worksheet that I handed out to you. Um, there's a second page there with space for one person in your group to take some, some notes. All right, you want to organize your group's thoughts so that, that it can be presented in a comprehensive fashion at the end. So let's start with those questions. Let's, be discuss, let's discuss them and have one person of your choice in your group to write down um, notes concerning each of those. How about then a group of girls? Do you think that the outcome might have been different? How about a group of girls and boys? I think if it was with girls, it would be different. Yeah, so do I. I think the values would be different. Because I think sometimes girls and boys are brought up differently, so if they were put in that situation, then they would react differently. Probably the woman would have, like, made the houses because they knew what was more important to do. Why do you conclude that the woman should be in the shelters, building the shelters and everything? Yeah. No, I didn't say that they should be. I, well, I'm saying, I think that the woman would have had, if it was only women on the island, that they would have had a better sense of what to do more than the men would have. They're not women yet. They're boys. I mean, girls. Girls. They're girls, so, you know, they're not really going to be like, oh, let's go make houses at first. They're going to think ahead. Yes, maybe they're going to fool around for a while and hang out because there's no adults. But, I mean, eventually, they're going to think ahead before these boys do, and they're going to say, well, wait a minute. If these women or girls were just to be left alone to go up by themselves, then I don't think that that so-called instinct would, you know, occur. So now, as you're getting into the discussion, and you're listening very carefully to what Zach is saying, he found it necessary to explain more clearly what he meant. And I, I would ask you, Zach, let, you know, just don't get defensive when they come back with their opinions. Uh, we're just trying to bridge a gap here. So. I know, I'm just saying. I don't, I don't mean it's an instinct. I mean that some women, more than men, plan ahead. I felt that, that Zach's first comments were, were taken a little bit out of context and that when the, the, the back and forth uh, conversation was going, was going on across the group, that, 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 he was, that, that he had not really been heard. I didn't want to come in and say, wait a minute, this, this isn't what Zach said. I wanted the girls to express what they were feeling and Noah to express what he was feeling. And then I tried to shuffle it back onto Zach's side of the group. I think that that was right to say some. Right, not all. I didn't mean all. Yeah. In the beginning, I didn't mean all. Oh, okay. All there right. you go. We got the word. Some. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so what we should, <laughs> if it were just girls, it would be more... They needed to kill pig for survival for food, and I personally I would have killed it because I couldn't kill a pig. So I don't know anyone who would. Okay, we've talked about these five major characters representing a different aspect of the personality. All right? um, do you think that if 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 there were girls mooned on an island, or if there were girls and boys mooned on an island, would there be another aspect of the personality um, not represented thus far by the five boys we have? Or do you think Once I feel that a group dynamic has, t has taken over, I can tell implicitly when the group almost um, wants me out of there in a way, and it takes on a life of its own, that I'm able to fade away. It would have like le le leadership aspects. I think when you work in smaller groups, you get to say how you're feeling, like your opinion of the book more. If you're in a whole big classroom, you can't talk, like, get each opinion of each different person. It takes too much time. But you really get more of a feel of what other people thought of the book in small groups. Okay. Um, if you look at the findings of the different groups, I think that you've all, um, you've certainly come to s similar conclusions regarding the five main characters. Uh, one thing I, I do want to discuss very briefly, assuming that these five characters are part of one human personality, one human personality, everybody has uh, a sense of, of leadership, uh, everybody has a sense of a uh, need for power. I tried everybody to compare myself to a character, and I didn't sense, find my, uh, myself in one sense. character, but I, f I found myself in different personalities of characters. The 
storyline would have gone much differently if I was in the island. I want to first of all congratulate you for the kind of work that you did in, in your small group today. Next time we get together, we're going to talk a little bit more about these qualities, how they're found in every person, and perhaps um, explore a little bit whether a human being is able to destroy him or herself, whether the darker side is able to actually, in the end, win out over the lighter side. Okay. Um, thanks very much.